What's happening? It's your guy King David from Trap Monster, TrapMonster.com. Here today I'm going to be talking about today's vlog. I'm going to be talking about are you really hungry as a music producer or artist? You know what I'm saying? Or, I mean, it can apply to anything, whatever you're trying to do in life, whatever your purpose is. But are you really desiring to be successful and go forward in that career doing what you love to do? You know what I'm saying? When people give you opportunities and things like that, um, are you ready and willing to take advantage of it to go forward? You know what I'm saying? So, I've, I've had a couple problems and situations that's happened here in the past and whatnot where, you know, opportunities came or whatnot. And I know me, myself, I've, in the past, I've been the victim of this, you know what I'm saying, where I've had op opportunities come to me and I turned them down because of my mindset. You know what I'm saying? Having poor, uh, my, having a poor mindset. You know what I'm saying? Um, making poor decisions, being young-minded, um, not really think about everything before I just turn it down or or whatever you know what I'm saying so there was problems where I've, I've had to deal with people in the past and this happened a lot since I've been on this music journey um, but a lot of times you'll find that when you give people opportunities either they rise to the occasion and do it or be full steam wholeheartedly ready to go or sometimes they're just not ready and they may be scared of the success or they're scared of the outcome. They may be scared of, of failure, you know what I'm saying? Scared that you know, it may not take off the way it needs to take off and then so they don't put that much energy into it. Um, so, you know, like I said, I came across some situations where I, I kind of like threw a bone out there. Now, me personally, if somebody throw me any kind of opportunity, I don't give a fuck if I don't too much really like the product or if it's um, and by the way, it's, it's got nothing to do about the reviews or with the VSTs or anything like that. I'm just saying on the music side of it, like collaborating and things like that, business opportunities and things like that. So um, the thing is, is that, you know, if somebody throws me a bone, I'm going to warm that motherfucker up in the microwave, throw some hot sauce on that shit and eat it. That's how hungry I am. You know what I'm saying? And, and the desire and passion for success and, and wanting to get out here and become something and be something. You know what I'm saying? That's for me. I speak on me and my mindset and how I am now. But I wouldn't always like that, right? You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it's, it's kind of crazy to see other people on that same journey and make those same mistakes. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, and they don't understand it. Even if, if you don't really um, like the opportunity that is given to you, nonetheless, it's still an opportunity. If it's there to benefit you, if it's not hurting you none or anything like that, why turn it down? Why act like you don't have to do that or whatever when you ask for money, you ask for opportunity and somebody throws you a little something, you never know what that little something may turn into. You know what I'm saying? Um, it may turn into a hit record, right? You know what I'm saying? It may turn into whatever. You never know. But that's what I'm saying is that don't ever turn down an opportunity. If somebody gives you opportunity to collab or 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 to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, that's within that same profession of what you desire to be and do, then take advantage of it. Do it. You never know. That may be your path where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? But don't ever just turn it down like, I, I don't know about that. I don't really want to do this. I don't want to do that. And for instance, say if like, let me give you a good example because it's something that just currently just happened or whatnot. But say like, uh, for instance, like if Jay Z or somebody right come into the room and they're like, hey, as you you as a producer, right, you have to come to your highest levels of expertise to be able to knock out a job, no matter if it's Jay Z or JoJo in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that person gives you an opportunity to work with them, and of course they may be paying, they may not be paying. Or whatever but as a producer your job is to take nothing and to turn it into something and if you're not able to do that then are you really a producer so back to the storyline um so if jay comes in a room and he's been listening to this sample this record you know what i'm saying it's like hey um such and so i want you to fuck with this i need you to make a beat i mean i need you to make something hard with this 
and he gives you that. Now, you as a producer, you may not really feel that sample, you may not really feel that project or whatever, whatever, but that's what the client wants. You know what I'm saying? So, as a producer, you have to put what your feelings and thought process is aside and knock out that opportunity, right? Because that's Jay, right? You know what I'm saying? Any producer is gonna want to work with a, 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 a artist of that caliber at some point, regardless if you like his music or not, he still has a good platform and he's well respected in the industry. Why not do that opportunity? It may lead into other opportunities. You know what I'm saying? But would you personally say, nah, I don't really want to do this beat because I don't really like the sample, I'm not feeling it. Or are you going to rise to the occasion and knock that motherfucker out? It's as simple as that, you know what I'm saying? But that's your job title as a producer. That's your ground title as a producer is to take nothing. That's what we do is take nothing and turn it into something that is pleasing to the ear and where people will enjoy it. That is a producer. If you're not able to do that and rise to the occasion of that, you still got some work to do. It's just the truth. So, I don't know, man. Y'all get in the comment box, man. Let me know how y'all feel about today's vlog, man. It's your guy, King. I am the plug. Check out that site, man. We got releases and stuff dropping all day long. New stuff coming and whatnot. And, um, till next time. Peace.